Good evening, morning, afternoon, freaks and geeks. This is Cass, and Mr. Midnight is still so adorable. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm pretty sure those two, the twins, are the two girls that were in that one cell at the beginning of the game. I'm trying to figure out what the Ant Man thing has to do with anything. What are you doing, Mr. Midnight? Can I go up there now? Oh, nope. Looks like Mr. Midnight's trying to catch the flies. <laughs> Probably out the window. That boss is going to stay on for eternity. Alright. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will we get out of here? There is no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. We need to get home, Kitty. I hope the way home doesn't isn't too far away. I hope so too, Fran. We can do this together. I can help you. Because why not? Take this, Toad. It may help. I'm not a bakery button. But you're all slimy and soft like dough. You're right. It may work. Here it goes. Holy crap, it worked. It worked. It really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. The giant toad is staring at me. Kitty, please, let's just go. He won't bite you. Alright, if he tries anything, I will scratch it. It's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, Kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Yay, my pi- That- The- Father doesn't look too happy. Uh, this book was, was it too? Leon? Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you so much. I thought you had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. <laughs> Hotward to victory. That is hilarious. What's this? Oh no, it's Frogger. Do I have to... Oh, I clicked to... Okay. <laughs> oh no. We look like we're made out of clay suddenly. There. I'm gonna turn this up a little. Hey, if you've been unlocked. That was fun. I like that. 
Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Uh oh, don't fall. <laughs> Lord, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Mr. Toad. Or Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Friend, we should go now. Or... Friend, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Did you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ah, uh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. And this is exactly how I'm going to help you out. I'm going to lick my balls. Alright, I want to see this book. Um, what? I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that re that relays silently in the unknown. Leon Costello, one of the thousand? We are legion, for we are many. My name is Leon. I am currently... T what? 92 years old old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. Mr. Leon is old and he seems sad. Hmm. Maybe you can see things that others can't. Oh yes, that sounds a lot like me. Interesting. Okay. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Okay, so someone else can see the black shadows. Cry because it hurts. Wow. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness from the Fifth Reality. Oh, that's a uh, demon. I should not have said its name. It talked to me, playing with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to his, its existence. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. <laughs> I can see myself around, the other me, tell me lies. Talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, Kill yourself. And I have tried, hypnotized by his words. But there is always something saving me at the end. It must, it must be the love to live. I met a shadow. For the first time it talked to me. Their race is called the Malice. They hunt weakness and pain. It, I asked it about the possession of human bodies and it said we are born and fed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of the human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and I walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Ooh, that's interesting to know. After seeing the camels reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. As I encountered something amazing, the camels transformed into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the camels calmed down and started to cry on the ground. 
felt like the pain was disappearing after a few minutes. A bright and peaceful beam was rising in front of me. Is that what I did to the sisters? Interesting. Felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. A thirst of weight. All the locas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. It didn't answer. After a while, it faded away, and... Those heads I came across, are they part of the, uh... Awaken Volokas. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall a remor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ish if Thurston may not be a city in this world, but reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Volacus invitation. Since I saw the Volacus, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. How long is this book? I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most of the, most of people. I wish I could find a friend just like me, because my son he thinks I'm insane. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws, because they are not only laws but also behaviors, chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm, while dying. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to be seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. Poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. Cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissues and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as placentas in white blood cells, but at a very high speed. Or not placentas. Platelets. Wow. I dream of thousands of black cats around in my house, Mr. Midnight? Big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beans in Thirsta are varied. From roots to giant insects, roots are the first in the reality, and there's a bunch of pages torn out. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. This is important. It's like a mist. I see. Great Vlacus is the beginning of the first reality. Primitive light. The Vlacus body structure is quite different from ours. They're made of photons and sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the young is youngster reach age up of this, they are crowned with a shield. They are creation of the great Volakas, king of Ithursta. Uh, the second reality, life. Being in Ithursta feels like becoming what you can't understand on earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree, and water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. 
Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence, free, resides in the human world, third reality, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, consciousness, practices of will, the end of vibration, when both ends of the opposites are at the same degree, resides in th third and fourth reality, death. Mabuka is the end of light. Well, the Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 14 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. No date recorded. How long is this freaking book? I'm going to do an extra long um, episode for this. Um... You probably already skipped it if I added a thing where you can skip. Getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. That was not a mistake. I had to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments. That's why they look like they are growing hair and the big base is mostly for communication purposes to scare the predators. Oh! That's what I was that's what I was talking to. I was talking to like a whole group of Luciferns. I hope my body can survive the journey. This is gonna be important for something too. Gravity collects par particles to create new ones. It's a creative force. And with creativity, evolution is inevitable. John, John's a left looks like an antenna. Oh no, somebody ripped off the rest of the book. I'll never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Alright, so if you skipped it, it's, it's fine. I'm not going to do a, a read. A, uh, like synapses of it. Alright, Mr. Midnight, let's go. Let's go on an adventure, Charlie. We're on a bridge. We're on oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, friend, come on. We've got to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of a height. Um, I can go first, alright? Then you follow me. Alright, kitty, you're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Oh, no. No, I just found you, kitty. We're on a bridge, Charlie. Um, Mr. Midnight? I don't think this is a bridge. Come on, friend, let's go. I'm waiting for you. Friend? Wait! I knew it. Something bad was gonna happen. Oh wow. Well, if you enjoyed this series. <laughs> My dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on. You can do it. Jump. Alright, here I go. Okay, I got you. <gasps> Fucker. Friend, no! Okay, he jumps with me. I was saying, if you enjoyed this series... <laughs> Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. 
please, and Grace, why don't, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You'll just leave me all alone, like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You'll soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please, please. Wow. Um, friend, it's time for your new medicine. Question. Why are her clothes all over the place? Oh, what happened? Where am I, Fran? Where are you? <laughs> oh, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty? Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be. She's a tree. Fran is a tree. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would it be? Fran, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. What? But how? Oh my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He can't. He won't let us go home. Or she's just unconscious and this is all a fever dream. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. That night Mom and Dad died. Kitty? I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. A tree, I tell you. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Those were the things in the book. And, okay. <laughs> we have fun with this one. Careful, sir, why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hold I'm good a hola! Stop it! I'll scratch you! <laughs> what are they saying? Oh my kitty, what is happening to us? Hola! Stop attacking me, please! I mean no harm! Hola, ignivanti! Kitty, help me find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. Fran, shoot. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. These are Fran's stockings. This is a wooden boat. An old vegetable sitting on a boat. I am uh, very literal on what I see. Um, okay. There's her purse. Oh, kitty can crank it. Oh. Okay. Hmm, I'll take the stone. It's shiny.
Okay. There we go. Oh, I got the purse only because I'm the best. <laughs> I like the cat. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna burn him. I want to do this. Fan, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing, you're the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show me, sir, who's attacking me? My family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Okay. Oh, not me? Nihoma! Oh! Wanna Pasaduka! Um. Huh? Where do you take me, sir, vegetable? They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. My nose really itches. Weird. We're just gonna leave her clothes behind? Chapter 3. Vegetato states. <laughs> yep, she's laying in a ditch somewhere unconscious and she's having a fever dream right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Heaven borrowed much can you bar zir Nihola Huba Rashir Liptem Gorska and a tail frill Gorska Zior Welcome, creature. My name is Zealer. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes! Finally, words I understand! My good friend Ride told me that you showed him in an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. <laughs> yes, let me explain it to you. Oh, <laughs> no need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. The seed? Eptin Mokanask Ecto, Ectopro, Ectoprot. Oh. Oh, that's creepy. I'm liking this guy. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bull family. What the what? Ah, oh, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. You can see all that in a seed? Be quiet. I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? You can't. We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death 
it is nothing more than the absence of love. Wow. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. And I've given Mr. Midnight so many different voices. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha 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 ha, you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithirsta. I knew it. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Well, why is this need of you going on home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. The most important is my aunt. Aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You are very brave. I just want to go home. Sir, please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the proceeding. What? We must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Gross. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, sir. Do you understand what I say, human lady? Or, I said, sir. Yes, I do. And you, sh you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand? My do you understand my kitty? I didn't. Your Highness, I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sounds. You'll see everything as your own as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, Kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think the right I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Yes. 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 All the yes. Well, it depends on the height. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Are we in, um... Crap, now I can't think of the movie. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. That's how I imagine they talk. Um. Nope. Nope. All the. the all the no. All the. Oh, hey! It's that thing. Good day, my name is Polantras. I am your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing, a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran, I'm a human girl. 
The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs, but we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me, I'm the beast. Let's go. He looks like a little tadpole. <laughs> Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you, this is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Volacus created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. So when do I get my legs and arms back? Oh, right. We wait until the water purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. Alright, hmm, so who is the Volacus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness and one day he fell. He fell so badly. His heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to Thursta, and his blood made his water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I don't know about other realities. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to Thursta? My kitty and I were on our way uh, back home. Oh, so I have to see him and hug him again. But then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes. Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being a friend. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. Is this real or is this fantasy? <laughs> it is actually the first time I've seen a human who's in a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes your land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow. But, Poantris, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, when you traveled to the Thursta, you opened a door between your reality and our. Ooh, this is not good. And with this door opened, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. Oh, don't cry. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice. And you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Hmm, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the Sun, Spirit of the Water, give Fran her arms and legs. How do you feel, Fran from the Thursta? Ah, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I wish I could give her a creak to her voice. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? You think it could fix my mommy and daddy? 
What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing. Doctor, thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had. And you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Jern, but he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules, which he was. Let's go now. I'll leave you I'll leave you at the station. We were on a magical adventure! Full of magic and wonder and wonderness. I'm just waiting for everything to go to shit. Here we are again. Shelzire the king. What a nice a Tharstian you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I will see you soon. Goodbye. I'm still a little disturbed that even if, even though she's like a little woodland tree person that she's naked running around. That's a little disturbing to me. I'll just not think about it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh. You fluffy kitty! Oh, do you like that? <laughs> Here I am. Friend, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great thirsting you've become. Thank you, King Sir. My doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Palanzas will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve. But that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard? Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. And I hope this was not a um, innuendo. Where is the wizard? What stones? The sign is full of things I don't understand. <laughs> you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything? That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. Great Wizard lives in the Great Mountain Cotram. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most viable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see, so the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? They'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great... Ooh. The thirst a day, and good luck finding the great wizard. Bye! Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature, kitty? That's Philantris. He fixed me. Yes, he certainly is very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Yay. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mountain Cotram. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, guys. I am... Let's look at my hand now. I am so sorry for the huge length of this episode. Um, <laughs> I am thoroughly enjoying this, and I want to keep playing it. That's going to be on another episode, so give this a like. Or a dislike, depending on how you feel. And until next time, stay white and nerdy.